welcome to the Valley Cultural Center Concerts on the Green and the Playboy Jazz Festival Concert. Today we're here with Totally Artistic and our staff today to look at 36 great artists that have come here to display their works. And let's have some fun at the Valley Cultural Center Concerts on the Green with Totally Artistic. <laughs> Welcome to our new show about the visual arts. I'm Shane. I'm an artist, a sculptor, and the founder of Totally Artistic. We are a membership-based fine art organization. Our mission statement is to promote, support, and enhance the artistic endeavors of our artist members. Coming up in today's show, we feature political artist D.S. Ullman, a mother who sculpts, her young son is a photographer, plus a quadriplegic who paints in a very unique way, and many more surprises too. Now, here are our hosts to kick things off. Hello everyone, welcome to Totally Artistic Television, your number one source for art happenings. I'm Desiree Lopez-Sapero. And I'm Sky Tavis. Today we have some really interesting and exciting artists that we want to show you, so let's get started. That's right, Sky. Let's go out to Warner Park in Woodland Hills and visit Steve Brevadaro. Hi, Steve. What do you have in store for us? Well, thank you. We're back here at the Concerts at the Green at the Warner Center Park. Uh, we're here at the Totally Artistic Tent, and we've found a wonderful artist, Jill Brookman. Jill, welcome. Thank you very much. I'm glad to be here. Tell us a little bit about your art here that you brought to the table. Well, um, on the table, actually, I, it's more or less, it's a private joke to me. It's Mr. and Mrs. Arthur Deco. It was my first experience on trying to feel Art Deco style of art. And behind us, you also brought some pieces. I did. Right behind you is a painting called Nana's Garden, and she used to have a cabin up in the Catskills every summer, and that was the view out her back door, and the front door was the lake where she would canoe. Mm. Yeah. I particularly love this one behind us, too, the jazz artists. I love music, and I paint to music, and when I want to paint something jazzy, I put on all my jazz albums. Well, fabulous. Once again, Jill Brookman here at Totally Artistic at the Concerts in the Green. Thanks, Steve. Jill's got some amazing pieces of artwork, doesn't she? Yes. Let's go back out and see what else she has. Let's go back to Warner Center Park and see who Abby has for us. Abby? I'm here with Diana Lee, photographer. And would you like to tell us a little bit about the work that we have behind us? I started shooting in downtown LA. I love LA. Just the one over here in the corner and this one behind me are both um, taken with a point and shoot and then I graduated and I got a nice, you know, nice SLR. Well, I think it's great. What what seems to inspire you the most? Is it the city itself or, or is it nature or what, what do you like the most? I like lines and shapes and color, you know, and that's what I see. I mean, I can sit here, I've been sitting here all day looking at the buildings and you know I'm ready to grab my camera and just start taking pictures. My friends all tell me that I don't really see the world the way most people do and I don't think I do, I don't think I ever have. So I just see beauty in small things. Even though the pictures are big, they're like little pieces of something that's much bigger. I see the little details and that's really what I take pictures of is the details. Well, absolutely. That's what we need you for, is to find the things that we would have missed. <laughs> Thank you. I've come across a great new artist, Donna. Mason Adams. Donna, welcome. Thank you. You have brought some interesting sculptures here today. What do you use for your sculptures? Everything's bronze. The ones in, in front particularly, they're bronze on granite and or marble. I like working with an oil-based clay. That's my preferred medium. I don't even know, to be perfectly honest, where my ideas come from. I've had horses my whole life, so hence the horses. Well, but, tell me a little bit about the two-headed horse. My two-headed horse, well, it didn't start off with two heads. It was a horse, full full horse, and I decided to flag the tail. Um, flagging means I had it upright and the, the tail was just flowing in the wind. Yeah. 
And as a joke, I thought, oh, I'm gonna kind of make a little head out of it and kind of create a little something fun and special. Got completely carried away, fell in love with the piece. I got such amazing response. Yeah. I didn't stop. You so did. <laughs> now I have a now I have a bronze two-headed horse. You have a two-headed horse. Tell me about some of the inspiration for the elephants. Some of my favorite sculptures and uh, pieces are of elephants, and I particularly love this one back here. Tell me a little bit about that inspiration. The inspiration for an elephant is luck. Luck. They're beautiful. They're they're intelligent. They are just. They're massive, they're beautiful. Fabulous. Yeah. We found the son of Donna Mason Adams. Vaughn Adams is here with us. Welcome to Totally Artistic. Was your mother an inspiration? Uh, not really in my photography, but in every other aspect, <laughs> artistic way, yeah, definitely. Or she'll be inspiring you after this interview, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> you do a little auto art, but that particular one is not auto. That seems to be something else. When you see the flower, you normally look at the flower itself, but there's so much more to it, and I try to capture the, the different things that you normally wouldn't see. A chip off the old block here, sculptor, photographer, we welcome the Adams family, and welcome to Totally Artistic.